Championships. So right now, we will be waiting for Luke Ackerman, the German rider at the local German event. This crowd is going to go insane for Luke. I hope you can hear this at home. So Luke Ackerman from me to dollar. It is the geographic center of Germany. He is only 16 years old, if you can believe it. He has the youngest rider to ever perform a backflip as well. And I've got to say, he came to Australia uh, just over the Christmas and New Year period this last year gone. And uh, him, his mum and dad came and stayed with us at my home. And uh, it was really cool to take him around. We showed him around uh, all the riders' compounds in Brisbane and the Gold Coast. Uh, this guy is not scared. He's only 16. He'll jump any ramp that's put in front of him, any jump. And uh, it did, uh, you know, it did come unstuck when he did that. I watched him try some 360s in the foam pit. He went to dirt. Huge crash. But here he is back again straight away and into a jackhammer on the first jump over the super kicker. One minute 35 remaining. A huge caught over backflip, landing a little bit long, the front wheel a little bit high. These are the things that the judges will be looking for. It needs to be as smooth as possible. One hand grab, reaching back for his boots. Feet not perfectly together. Again, just one of the things the judges will be looking at. And a big double knack, or nine o'clock knack, however you want to call it. From Luke Ackerman, the German crowd there is slowly building into this. And a big hill kick and a super flip. The backflip combo is really one of the only ways to actually go through in these rounds. These two backflip combos. A nice flip there from Luke. Maybe he should have been in the best flip competition earlier tonight. He did elect to miss it so he can concentrate. This is a huge tsunami flip. Earlier in qualification, that trick got so out of control, he almost crashed. I don't know how he saved it, but this time much cleaner and much smoother. And they are rock solid, the front wheel staying high. Little tiny let go. And now standing on his seat, surfer into a tsunami. For a split second there, I thought he was going to bring out that new trick in his run, not the final. Now he's just going to let the clock out down. Still six seconds remaining. He could get another jump in if he wanted to. He has elected not to. He's going to prepare himself for the double up. And with a trick worth double the points, this is the time to unveil either a new trick or your biggest trick. And for Luke, I would say it's both. This is now his biggest trick and it's a new trick for him. We've just seen it a matter of one hour ago. So we'll expect to see him stand on his seat. At the back, the flip levers are up. And now, on the long distance ramp, Surfer takes off the Tsunami flip. He just got it around. A little bit short, almost under-rotated it. But for Luke Ackerman, the German rider, he is pumped. He's just received his Red Bull helmet. The first Red Bull rider in freestyle from Germany. You've got to be surprised to hear that as well. Some really good German riders coming out of here for the last many years. You know, Busty Bolter, Fabian Bowser, his brother, Hannes Ackerman. He didn't make it to the final. But for Luke Ackerman, the crowd have gone absolutely bananas. A new trick over the long distance, 21 meter ramp. Luke Ackerman, surfer takeoff to Tsunami backflip. So, It'll be good to look at this in slow motion on the replay. Luke, he, uh, he's been working on this trick for a couple of months now. I was at his home in Nita Dollar as part of the Road to Nations road trip where I've travelled around Europe to ride with each of the riders on the Night of the Jumps roster. And uh, Luke told me, obviously, keep it under wraps. But here we go on the slow-mo. Cliffhanger on the super kicker. Probably the smallest trick of his run, actually. Coming around the Cordova backflip, and he really extended that. Held it a little bit longer than in the qualification. 
a little bit over rotated, not too bad. He, uh, he'll be happy to land like that. A one hand grab, reaching back for those tech tens. Good boots on that one. Uh, but Luke Ackerman, a really good run from him tonight. And it was good to see him come with some amplitude in this run. A lot of excitement. The nine o'clock knack or the double knack from him. And uh, of course, the tsunami flip, the first one. The big one, it was obviously not standing on his seat. That's one of his biggest tricks. And until obviously tonight, that was his double up trick. Now, the surfer to tsunami flip. So a little bit of repetition. The judges might actually pick up on that. And may actually judge him down a little bit. 313 points for Luke in the final. Uh, good to see Luke there. A good run. He is into the 300s. It's a good place to be. But I expect we might even see close to the 400s, depending on how well uh, the other guys like Remy Bissoir, Michael Malero, and Robbie Adelberg ride. So Luke Ackerman, the Red Bull rider, will take his place on the hot seat. His job is now done for the night. I know I spoke to him. After qualifications, he said he almost didn't even want to do the final. He was so happy to have landed that run. The tsunami flip which was out of control. He almost crashed. Then his new trick, he was really happy. He didn't even want to come back out, but he did it, and he actually rode a lot more. Get your tickets on nightofthejumps.com, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.